Hey, we back, man. Woo, it's been a minute. Y'all let me clean my glasses off for a second. How y'all been doing? Oh yeah, this coffee and donuts. It's your boy Rudy. Season two. Season two, man. Sorry it took me so long to come back. So much going on in the world, so let's talk about it. Let's dive in. You know how we do. Hope y'all doing all right through. All these circumstances that's going on today. I pray that everything get better for you. Pray everything get better for me. Just pray everything get better for everybody. So, you know, it's tough. It's a it's different. It's a change. But you know, we um as people, we know how to adapt, we know how to roll with the punches. You know what I'm saying? We know how to tough it out, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna tough it out, baby. Man, shout out to um my boy Chris for this shirt. Sure. Essential. Uh, I'm gonna give y'all the um his website in the description or whatever. So, but it's a dope shirt. I like it. I like the front. You got that Martin kind of font too. So I like that. You know what I'm saying? So I've been an essential worker. Y'all been an essential worker. Y'all been sitting at home. Y'all let me know. Hit the um. Y'all listen to it. Y'all listen to me on Spotify or y'all listen to me on Anchor or. Whatever, but on Anchor, go to that inbox and tell me what y'all been doing through the um, quarantine, through this pandemic, through all this other stuff. So, as y'all might have saw the um, title, said, I almost quit. I almost quit doing the podcast because of, I felt like it wasn't making a big enough impact, but that's probably just me. Overthinking, like I said earlier, we got if y'all follow me on Facebook. I said I'm glad I got level-headed people around me because I tend to overthink a lot of stuff. So, but I did something that I said I wasn't gonna do. I went and checked the numbers, and I was looking on Anchor, and it'll show you like where your um your listeners are coming from you or whatever. So, I remember I was I was happy when I got uh, some people listening in Puerto Rico. Which I thought that was cool because I ain't never been to Puerto Rico. I don't know nobody that live in Puerto Rico. Might have been somebody on vacation in Puerto Rico, but they was in Puerto Rico when they were listening. But that's cool and all. But guess what? We got some listeners coming from Ireland. Ireland, man. Shout out to Ireland. Big shout out to Ireland, man. What's going on in Ireland, man? Never been. Got to go one day. I don't know nothing much about Ireland for real. I guess I got to study up on it, see what's what in Ireland. So, big shout out to Ireland, man. Big shout out, big shout out. So, it was a ESPN special about the Bulls' last championship season called The Last Dance. You know, where they were talking about, like, all the little stuff that happened during that special season, the great season they had, you know, the ups, the downs. It wasn't a lot of downs on the court. And I'm just going off memory because I actually remember that series. And one thing I got to say is so funny that no matter what Michael Jordan do, good, bad, or ugly, they always want to throw LeBron in there. They always want to bunch them together, LeBron and MJ. It's not, it's not against the law. It's not going to hurt nobody for y'all to actually... Like both players, you can like you can like Michael Jordan, and you still like LeBron. Cause like I think most of the LeBron hate is coming from this internet generation, and they always like it's all they always try to find some kind of way to make put MJ up here, which he rightfully deserves to be up there, but you can't put LeBron down now. LeBron is not that far away from MJ statistically, but they always want to throw in. The ring count. Oh, LeBron got three rings. He had to do it with two different teams, you know. He had to go on a super team or whatever. And then they're like, oh, he went back to Cleveland. He won. On the, on the, reason, he, but the only reason he won because of Kyrie. Kyrie hadn't won anything until LeBron came back to Cleveland. He was just on a, a young, good player on a bad team. LeBron brought that team up, took him to the playoffs, to the championship the first year. And every year he was there. He ain't win them all, but he was there. Y'all y'all couldn't knock him off in the East. You know what I'm saying? And the West is just some 
to me at the time was a more dominant more dominant conference so you know it's not, it's just it's all it's all like a, the next subject I want to talk it's all about opinion versus hate just because you have an opinion on something does not mean you hate it myself I don't eat pork I don't hate pork I don't tell other people not to eat it it just ain't it just don't work out for me so I'm like I don't hate it I don't love it but I ain't, ain't gonna make nobody else like like I got a partner he think that I hate I be hating on Drake and Jay-Z now I don't hate on them I just I just ain't really rocking with Drake and Jay-Z like that I know don't inbox me don't talking about Drake and Jay-Z that's just my opinion I like other artists I listen to Drake and Jay-Z they're just not my favorite, and I've never went out and bought a Drake album. I, I have a, I had a few Jay Z albums up to a certain point, maybe up until like the the Black album. And after that, I was just like, oh, I was I was kind of over it, you know what I'm saying? So, but just because somebody has an opinion that differs from your opinion does not make them a hater. They're not hating on you or hating on what you like. So remember that, okay? So uh, on, on my last episode, if I'm not mistaken, I think we talked about um, talked about Tom Brady going to Tampa Bay. Well, Tom Brady has reeled in his, his his homie out of retirement. He got Rob Gronkowski coming to Tampa Bay. So y'all know everybody's saying that Tampa Bay about to win the Super Bowl. I don't think so. Because Tom, you know, Tom's still a great quarterback. He ain't, had, he ain't had many losing seasons at all. But, you know what I'm saying? That was in the Bill Belichick system. Let's see what he's going to do in this Tampa Bay system. I don't even know who Tampa Bay head coach is, but we're going we to have to find out what he's going to do in that system if we have a season, which I'm hoping that we don't have to lose football season too because of coronavirus. But if we have to, it's better to be safe than sorry. So... Let's talk, let's talk some finances. So recently, I've been um, doing a lot of investing in the stock market. Because right now, the stock market is, is down. It's not out. So I figured I could jump in now while the prices are reasonable, cheap, whatever you want to call them. But the, um, the prices are down. So you can go in and buy multiple shares, you know what I'm saying, for the low. And then you just like, hopefully, when the economy and everything start to bounce back, all that stuff that you bought low gonna go high and you can sell it, buy more stock, whatever you wanna do, you know, just kind of play with it. It's, it's, it's a gamble, but life's a gamble and the world's a casino. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I look at things, man. So I wanted to throw that in now. And if you wanna, um, you wanna get a free app, I said a free app. <laughs> you wanna get a free stock, let me know and I'll shoot you a link to Robinhood.com and then get your first we can get your first stop for free. Just let me know. I I I suggest that you get a free stop. So I'm saying how let me we can we can get it cracking. And speaking of finances and Robin Hood and all that, stocks and stuff, everybody talking about the twelve hundred dollar stimulus check. Who got it? Who didn't get it? So I'm guessing the people who got it must be poor. And the people who didn't get it must make a nice amount of money or whatever. But I'm like, man, it's just like a, it's just like income tax season all over again. But everybody know what everybody getting exactly, kind of. Because some people get more than um twelve hundred, depending on their dependents and all that other stuff. But um, yeah, man, we they gave us a stimulus. They gave they gave the country a stimulus. They kind of. Bailed us out like they always bailing the um big businesses out. They kind of bailing us out, kind of, because it's only a one time thing of twelve hundred dollars. But you can get that twelve hundred dollars. You can get ahead, especially if you're still working, or if you're not working and you're getting an unemployment check. That twelve hundred dollars, you can put that to the side and save it if you want to, or you can get ahead on some other stuff because that's money that you ain't have to work for. They gave you that, so I'll be comparing um what other countries are giving they people. We don't live in them countries, man. We can't worry about what... That's like pocket watching. Again, I always talk about pocket watching. 
You're pocket watching on a major, a major level when you're worried about what the next country is paying their people, and we don't live in those countries. So, like I said, I don't never try to get too deep off into the politics and all that other stuff. So, we're going on to the next subject. So, do y'all remember, uh, some of y'all may remember, some of y'all may not remember the um, R&B, I'll call him a young R&B phenomenon. He was a young man, Tevin Campbell. And Tevin Campbell had a hit song called Can We Talk? And he revealed recently that um, Can We Talk is a song about stalking. So I had to go back and listen to the song, watch the video. I could, I could see some stalkish tendencies in there, but I think it was written, cause I know he probably didn't write it, but it was written um, in the mindset of a shy individual. That's why I look at it. But it's like, can we talk for a minute? And I'm saying, girl, I really want to know your name. So he didn't know her. And he was trying to find a unique way to um, meet her, talk to her, introduce himself to her. Without trying to, without being corny or lame or just, or the same as everybody else, he wanted to take a different approach. So he was like, he wanted to write her a letter, but he didn't think that was going to be good enough because she probably get a lot of letters from a lot of guys. So, and from the from the the, the unknown kind of dude, the, he ain't no athlete, you know what I'm saying? He ain't really popular. He's just a regular, everyday guy. He had to build his nerve up to. Talk to this girl who seems so far away out of his league. And he's just trying to figure out in his mind what to say, what to do, how to approach. So that's just my opinion on um, Tevin Campbell on um, Can We Talk. That's, the, that's what I got out of it. Everybody got a different interpretation. And he said the original song idea was writing about somebody stalking somebody. So, yeah. I don't know about that. But look, I still got this promotion going on. $5 cash app. You want to promote your business? You want to promote your promote yourself, your music, anything, man? Five bucks on this coffee and donut show. I'll promote you. I'll promote you. I will promote you all week leading up to the show. I'll promote you on the show. And I even throw a couple of days. I, I'm, I'm going to give you seven whole days promotion or whatever you got. You got, a, you got a book. You got an album. You got... Your own shoes, socks, clothes, restaurants when they open back up. Whatever you want to promote, holla at me. We, we can get that cracking, man. We promote that. We can promote that. So, in the, in my downtime, I always like to be creative. I'm not gonna say I had a downtime between season one and season two, but just the, in that in that gap, I like to keep myself on um, mentally. Mentally always coming up with new ideas. So I got a new podcast, a spinoff of this podcast, because a lot of people saying, oh, you need to bring people home and uh, have guests and all this other stuff. This this isn't this right here, Coffee and Donut isn't a platform for guests. But I, do, I have come up with a platform so I can interview people. My new podcast, which will be coming soon, I got to figure out which day I want to um, drop it on. Since I do coffee and donuts usually on Friday or Saturday, I want to get y'all this other uh, podcast, like maybe like in the middle of the week, like Wednesday, Thursday. But it's called Coffee Conversations. Still C O U G H E E Coffee Conversations with Rudy. I have guests, you know, what I'm saying musicians, artists. Some some of them I'm going to probably be doing through the um, Zoom chat. Since we still can't really go places and link up with people. But if I get somebody who live close enough, we can, we put our mask on and we'll, we'll jump right into it. You know, ain't no thing. So, that's what's been going on. That's what's going on. Shout out to Chris again for the essential t-shirt. Because I'm being essential. Hopefully, I'm essential to y'all. Um, season 2, man. We back, man. Coffee and donuts. Another day, another dollar, man. Stop pocket watching. You can't worry about what the next man got if you ain't got it because that ain't for you. So with all that being said, remember, you can promote $5 cash out. You want to cash out me five bucks, hit me up for the info. We can promote your whatever you got. 
I ain't gonna hold y'all long because I got so much to talk to talk about this season. We're gonna just leave it short and sweet on this first bounce back episode, season two. Coffee and donuts. Peace. Yeah.